if there is one pyq which is important for upsc prelims 2026 this is this pyq let us see the question guys what is cas9 protein that is often mentioned in news this is basically a molecular scissor used for targeted gene editing why is this pyq important for 2026 prelims guys you must have come across this news that icar has launched two gene edited two gene edited rice varieties rice varieties guys this is a very big development i can tell you guys guarantee there will be a question from this topic what i have done i have prepared an optima card on this topic where i have covered each and every dimension of this topic in just one card so guys the rice variety is called kamla which is drr rice 100 and fusha dst1 okay these are gene edited these are gene edited not genetically modified they are gene edited so guys you need to know what is the difference between gene edited and genetically modified crops because gm crops are also very important for upsc problems examination the only difference is guys in genetic modified crops foreign genes are used for example in bt cotton we are using gene of bacillus thuringiensis which is a bacteria okay whereas in gene edited crops we are not using any foreign dna or any foreign material we are basically editing the genome of the crop and we are bringing desired qualities of the crop okay so we are using crispr cas9 technique guys crispr cas9 technique in this there are two, two kinds of proteins which is cas9 protein and cas12 protein which is basically used for targeted gene editing this is very very important so they may ask you about what is gene editing crops or gene edited crops or they ask you what is the difference between gene edited crops and genetically modified crops these kinds of comparative questions are very popular in upsc problems examination one thing you should know that guys genetically modified crops they need approval from this genetically engineering appraisal committee geac okay which is under the basically environment protection act under the mo okay ministry of environment and climate change whereas the genetically edited crops they do not need that kind of safety precautions for they do not need approval from gsc they need approval from ibsc which is institutional biosafety committee which is under department of biotechnology so guys this is how upsc can frame questions guys every day i am giving you 10 questions these optima cards also be part of my prelims test series where you are going to get 10 questions every day guys this is my telegram channel and this is my youtube channel please do subscribe daily i am giving you one or two predictions for the upsc prelims examination